In this video, I'm going to show you Zurich's most iconic landmarks and historical sites. As a Zurich local, I'll guide you to some stunning views, some historical treasures, and an all-you-can-eat chocolate paradise. So, let's get started. One of the great things about Zurich is that it's chock full of historic buildings and cobbled streets. You can literally walk straight out of the Bahnhof into the Old Town, and it covers a huge part of the downtown area. I recommend starting in the Niederdorf area, which is full of cobble streets that wind their way along the Limmat River. It's also full of really cool restaurants and shops, and you can also duck off into some of the side alleys where there's really interesting shops and quaint little boutiques that people almost never go to, and you can spend a few minutes exploring each little side alley and seeing what's behind all the buildings on the Niederdorf. And as you make your way along Niederdorf, you'll eventually come to the Grossmünster, Zurich's most iconic church and building. It's got two huge towers, and you certainly won't miss it. And I recommend going inside, even if you're not a fan of churches, which I'm personally not. There's a tower in there called the Karlsturm, which you can climb up and see some of the most epic views in Zurich, including the lake and the river and all the downtown area surrounding it. It's definitely worth doing. And crossing over the river to the other side, is the Frauenmünster and the Münsterhof, which is a square next to the church. Definitely worth heading over there and checking out the amazing old buildings and the cobblestone area there. And if you've got a few minutes, you can go inside the Frauenmünster. They have some amazing stained glass windows on the end facing the river. And also duck under the church. There's some beautiful frescoes in there. It's worth taking a few pictures if you've got a minute. And close by is the St. Peter's Church with the biggest clock face in Europe. You definitely won't miss that one. It's not too far from the Frauenmünster. It's definitely worth a walk up there to have a look. And then you can continue towards the main station through that part of the old town to get to what's called the Lindenhof, which is a really nice park to hang out, especially on a hot day. And you can get some amazing views from the wall there, down the Limmat River, across to the Grossmünster, and across the rooftops of the old town. So definitely worth spending some time there if you're in the old town area. And Zurich's most famous street you might have heard of is the Bahnhofstrasse, which runs straight out of the train station, which is also called Bahnhof in German, not surprisingly. It's a really beautiful street worth walking the full length of, but the top section from Paradeplatz towards the lake is the most interesting, has really expensive shops, all the watch shops, all the brands, mixed watch shops, great place to buy a watch if you need one, and also great for shopping for things like Versace, Cartier, Bulgari some of the really expensive brands. Sometimes you'll see some famous people shopping in there. So head up there just for a bit of a window shopping, a bit of a stroll, and check out how the other half lives. And you'll eventually end up at the lake, or if you're coming back from the lake through the old town, it's also worth heading down that part of Bahnhofstrasse. And you certainly can't miss Lake Zurich while you're in Zurich, can you? It's right in the middle of town. It's at the end of the Bahnhofstrasse. It's a great place to hang out on a hot day, and there are some amazing views from the Berkeley Platz, which is at the end of the Bahnhofstrasse where the ferries go from. So take some time there to take a few pictures. If it's a clear day, you can see the Alps in the distance. It's amazing to think that's right in the middle of a city. Can't beat it, really. And if you want to, you can go swimming there on a hot day. You can also rent a paddle and go for a bit of a paddle, or you can rent some stand-up paddle boards along the sides of the lake. Or you can just hang out there under the trees and have an ice cream or grab some takeaway from some nearby shops. It's definitely worth spending at least half an hour there as you're doing your tour around the old town. You will definitely see Lake Zurich while you're in town. And how could you come to Zurich without going to the Lint Chocolate Factory and Museum? It's an awesome day out, not far from downtown Zurich, and you get to go in the museum, learn about the history of chocolate, the history of chocolate development in Switzerland, which was one of the pioneers of awesome chocolate, as you probably know, and you get to sample chocolate all the way through the tour. You can actually make yourself sick on chocolate, and you can take home a whole bunch of lint balls at the end, so get ready for that one. And there's a huge lint chocolate store, the biggest in the world, I believe, downstairs, so you have your wallet ready. And on top of that, there's an amazing nine metre tall chocolate fountain right in the foyer. It makes amazing Instagram pictures. You've probably seen it online, but seeing it in person is quite crazy. I think there's like 150 kilos of chocolate flowing down from the top to the bottom. You can't actually quite touch it, but it's, uh, it's an amazing thing to see. 
And to get here, you can jump on a ferry from the Berkeley Platz, which I've already mentioned before. So you need to check the times for that. Or you can jump on the train to Kiltberg, and that's a bit of a walk from there. Or you can get a bus directly also from Berkeley Platz to there. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes. So it's pretty close. But just plan that in your day and make sure you have time for that. It'll take you probably two to three hours for the complete tour and scoffing of huge amounts of chocolate and filling your bags to take home to all your friends and family who are going to absolutely love you. And another fun area to check out is the ETH Zurich, which was the, one of the most renowned technical universities in the world. Einstein actually taught there. You can actually catch a really fun funicular up from downtown Zurich. It actually leaves from Central, which is really close to the main station. And that's included in the day pass of Zurich. So it's usually free for most of you if you're catching public transport on that day or you have the Swiss pass. So you catch this really fun red funicular to the top. It only takes about two or three minutes. All the uni students use it to get to their classes, which is quite funny. And then at the top is this magnificent, huge terrace where they all hang out at lunchtime. And you can get these amazing views of Zurich, the Utliberg, and even see the lake in the distance. And also sh you should head inside to see the university. It's a really beautiful building. And you can do a little bit of an Einstein tour around the area. There's a pamphlet in there towards the back of the uh, building. You'll see that on the left-hand side near the information office. So be sure to check that out if you're heading up to the ETH Zurich. And another area of Zurich worth checking out is the Zuri West or Hartbrucker area, which is actually the really industrial area of Zurich that's been super developed in the last few years. There's some really cool shopping sections down there, like the Viaduct, which is actually like a train bridge full of stone arches that have all been filled in with really cool shops. And there's a bunch of really cool restaurants there, like Frau Gerholt's Garten, which is an outside eating area and bar in summer and they've got a stack of containers there which you can hang out on and right next door is the Freitag Tower which is the headquarters of the bag company if you know them they're made of uh, tarpaulins from trucks really cool recycled material bags and they've actually stacked nine industrial containers there which you can climb to the top of and get a really cool view of the area it's great at sunset and across the road is the Prime Tower which is a really beautiful glass building. It's the tallest in Zurich, I believe, for the moment. And on top of there is the Clouds restaurants, a little bit expensive, but worth dinner if you want to go somewhere romantic. And they also have a bar there where you can get a nice sunset view of Zurich. And last but certainly not least is the Utliberg, Zurich's home mountain. It takes about half an hour on the train to get there from the main station. And it's definitely worth heading up there if you have a bit of extra time in Zurich. You can catch the train towards the top and it's about a 10 or 15 minute short hike from the train station to the tower, which you can climb up to the top of and get some amazing views of the Alps, the lake and downtown Zurich. It's probably one of the most amazing views in Zurich. You can just hang out at the top, bring something to eat or grab something at the takeaway stand there. And there's also a really nice restaurant there called Uto Kulm. Maybe you should book ahead, but if it's a quiet day, not the peak of summer, you should be able to get a seat there and you can have something like a Rösti, which is local, or a Zurika Geschnetzeltes, which is um, some nice little pieces of meat in some wine sauce. Definitely worth checking out. So come up to the Utliberg for a nice afternoon out. You can also do a hike and continue down and catch another gondola back down from there. I've got another post on that on the blog if you want to check that out. But Utliberg is one of the best half-day trips from Zurich and definitely worth doing if you've got the time. And of course, there are even more stunning views to be had in Zurich. And if you don't want to miss them, then this is the video you should be watching next. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me and the channel. And subscribe if you want to see even more awesome videos on Switzerland.